Well, here we finally are. On the way to the castle. Oh! Wow, this place is very gray. I like the color gray. That's very nice. Also, this city is pretty big, so this... The underground is a lot larger than we give it credit for, it seems. Oh, nice towers. They feel like watchtowers from Warcraft. But I see no peons. Or are they peasants? Oh! Oh, that's a very calming song. I like it. New home. Bum, 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 bum. This is... This is a copy of Toriel's home. It's a golden flower. I'm suspicious of this flower. Oh god, they're everywhere. This is a fire poker. Seems like gardening tools. Not a poker at all. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Delicious. The coals are still warm, so someone was just here. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. What? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. It wasn't me, I don't think. Oh wait, a key. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Ew! The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Oh, well, that's sad. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. The stovetop is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. Take the key and put it on my keychain. What's this? It's a note. Howdy! Help yourself to anything you want. But I can't take anything. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Oh. I get the feeling this is going to be a not-so-happy story. Would I be correct in this assumption? Oh. Dusty toys. There's a heart-shaped lock- heart-shaped- heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? I guess. I have the heart-shaped locket. Okay, good. There's a worn dagger inside the box. I won't take the dagger. I don't need any daggers. What does this do? Fence 15 says best friends forever. Aw. Aw. Let's put it on. I equipped the locket. It's a good locket. It's a drawing of a golden flower. There's a lot of golden flowers in this place and that makes me suspicious. What a comfortable bed. If you laid down here, you might not ever give up. Get up. Is it give up or get up? Might not ever get up. Okay, whew. I just misread it. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. Who's in the photograph? What do they look like? There's a lot of striped shirts in here. I have one of those. Oh. Those are adorable, I want some. It's a twin-sized bed. Dusty toys. No one's played with them in quite a while. It's a golden flower. Everything in here is a golden flower. Jeez. Room under renovations. Why are they always under renovations? Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. That maybe one day humans and monsters could fully live together again. I'll take this key and look at myself. Despite everything, it's still you. And it always will be. Never stop me. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. So he just wrote this. Like, literally just wrote it. It's a king-sized bed. For the king. Macaroni art of a flower. For King Dad. Aw. I get the feeling that this is... Yeah. Yeah, this isn't going to have a happy ending. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. The biggest, fuzziest... The biggest Santa ever. It's a closed drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. <laughs> That's sweet. It's a trophy. Number one nose and nuzzle champs, 98. Undefeated. Never to be thwarted. The ultimate cuddling duo. You unlocked the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of tw uh, 2000 and uh, X. A date is circled on it. Is that today or is that earlier? It's probably earlier. Oh. Then, one day, 
the human became very ill. I knew it. This is going to have a sad ending. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Because they can't go to the surface. The next day. The next day. The human died. Aw, oh, rip. That sucks, dude. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. And broke the barrier, I assume. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. And I bet they just welcomed him with open arms. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Gonna bury them with the flowers that they wanted to see, man! Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. No, he didn't. I swear. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But he's a good boy. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Never to be seen again. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh, he died on his front doorstep. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, give us hope, save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Well, he wants to kill me, so... You're going to be free. Oh, but... But I don't wanna... I don't wanna fight. I get the feeling we're going to have to fight. Hello? This is a very spooky and long room. It reminds me of the Temple of Time. Oh! Hello. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. 
But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. I think it makes sense. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Those are both bad options. Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Aw, thanks, buddy. I'll do the right thing, I swear. In one second. Here we are. Wait a second. The look on your face while I was talking. You've already heard my spiel, haven't you? I suspected something like this. You're always acting like you know what's going to happen. Like you've seen it all before. So, I have a request for you. I kind of have a secret code word that only I know. So I know if someone tells it to me, they'll have to be a time traveler. Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. I'll see you in a second, buddy. Sans, I have a password that I need to tell you. Hello. How are you? I'm a time traveler. Ding dong, ding dong. I made it. What up? This is your password. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? What a code word. Can you speak a little louder? Whisper, whisper. Did you just say I'm a stupid doo-doo butt? Yeah, I did. Wow. I can't believe you would say that. Not only is that completely infantile, but it's also my secret code word. That, however, isn't good enough. What you need is the secret secret code word. It's only for people that know the secret code word. Anyway, here it is. Wimsper, wimsper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. I'll be right back, buddy. You can count on me. I have learned the secret, secret code word. Gonna tell a skeleton what it is. Howdy. Ringle. Dingle. So you finally made it. I have the secret, secret code word. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? Yep. What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Wimsper, wimsper. Do you just say I'm the legendary fart master? Wow. That's, uh, really childish. Yeah, it is. Why would you think that was a secret, secret code word? Never told you that is a dirty liar. I don't have a secret, secret code word. I've been played. However, I do have a secret, secret, triple secret code word. Oh, God. Which you just said. So, I guess you're qualified. Close enough. Here's the key to my room. It's time. You learned the truth. When you looked, the key was already on your keychain. Wow. Quite the... Quite the ninja there, eh, Sans? Alright. That's enough of that. We'll do that later. For now, this totally looks like a thing. We read this sign which says throne room. That's obviously the throne room. Throne entrance, yep. Asgore's in there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Before that, however, what is this? Hello? Secret room? 
Oh. Uh. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Alan. It's empty. How the fuck do you know my name? Why the fuck do you have my coffin? Whatever, I'm leaving. That's spooky. He's planning on killing me. Of course, we knew that, though. I'm not giving up, though. I'll beat your ass with kindness. Look at these eyes. Look at this face. You want to go? Dom de dom. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Hello. Howdy, how can I? Oh. Hello? I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Yeah, I do. We ain't gotta do this, you know. We can go have that tea. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Do you want to go play catch? I'm willing to chill. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Aww. Uh, but I don't want to fight you. It's a throne. It's a big throne. Oh, it's Toriel's throne. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Because she's no longer using it. That's sad. Well, time to fight him. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. A dentist that actually wants to murder me instead of just carve my teeth open. Wow, there's so many saves. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. We ain't gotta do this, my dude! The end. Just hug it out. Wow, that's trippy. Hello? This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I think I have everything... Everything down right now. Let's go. I see. This is it then. You just want a hug? Ready? You're not having my soul. Oh boy. The strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Put him up, human. It was nice to meet you. Oh, it was nice to meet you too. Goodbye. What? Oh. You shit, Asgore attacks. Well, I guess we're doing this now. Talk to me, buddy. Quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, that's Toriel's attack. Tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. For a moment. Whoa. Oh, I should have moved up. Come on, buddy. You ain't got to do this. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recole recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Oh boy! Uh, uh, holy shit, I'm not dead. Uh, instant noodles. They're better dry. Your HP was maxed out. Mmm, delicious. Uh. Okay. I, 
I get it. I, I guess. Talk. Tim stalking won't do any more good. God damn it. Ow. Ow. Jesus Christ, you hurt. I need to eat another bicycle. Oh, you want half of the bicycle. Your HP is maxed out. Hmm. Ah. Oh, boy. Easy enough. I just gotta not suck. Check him out. Asgore. That's a lot of attack and defense. Nothing to say? Understand. Ow. Okay, that was straight up a Toho attack, and you know it. Talk to me. Seems like talking won't do any more good. God damn it. Ha! Ha ha ha. Gotcha, buddy. I know that attack now. Seems to... Come on, man. Ow. Ow. Uh, meaning the popsicle. Thought it was a unicycle. I ate the unicycle. I recovered 15 HP. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. There has to be... Oh, boy. That's a little bit more difficult. Woof. Ow. Okay, that was my fault. There has to be a way, a way through this, buddy. Orange, blue, blue. I got that attack down now, bud. Talk. All I can do is fight. But I refused. Fuck. Um. Why can I not go to page two? Whatever, eat the burger. I eat the glam burger. Ooh, HP was maxed out. Whoa. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Some stalking won't do any more good. We can come to an understanding. Probably. Mr. King. Probably. I mean, I can't spare you, but... We can be friends. Or at least not murderers. Jesus Christ. That was a... All right, that attack has gotten significantly worse. Oh God, I'm almost out of healing. I ate one half of the bicycle, recovered 15. Shit, 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 shit. That didn't do, do as much damage as I was thinking it would. Come on, friend. Oh, I didn't, I didn't perfect that one, but that's fine. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry about talking shit about that attack. Eat the popsicle. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. Is this just a I just have to outweigh him thing like other fights or? Ha. Good try. I'll tire you out. Ow. Ow. God damn it! I'm an idiot. Come on, please. I'm almost out of healing. All I have left is a snowman. Ugh. Uh. Uh. Please. Huh. 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 Asgore, come on. My dude. Ow. Okay, that was entirely my fault. Why the fuck do I have an apron? I equip the apron. I put the apron on. Okay. <laughs> well, we're fighting, I guess. I did a decent amount of damage. Oh, uh. Nice try. <laughs> 246. Ah, oh, this one again. I'm probably going to die in like two seconds. I have... Okay, woof. 245, come on. Come at me, nerd. You ain't got shit. Oh. Uh. Welp. Our fate rests upon you. Alan, stay determined. But I'm killing you, buddy. All right, come on. 
Tell Asgore that he's killed you once before. He nods sadly. Oh boy. Tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Uh, uh, that's my fault. Firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. His defense dropped. Uh. Holy shit, how am I not dead? Pie. I ate the butterscotch pie. My HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down. Asgore's defense down. It's a delicious pie, buddy. You know that, right? All right. Let's do this. Oh, that was uh, pretty shitty. I probably should have gone and grabbed the knife, huh? But you know what? This is fine. This will work. Eh. I just have to not suck. 131. Not a whole lot of damage, but oh, okay, that was entirely my fault. We've weakened him considerably. Don't move, move, don't move. Somehow made it. Come on, friend. I don't want to have to do this. You're making me do this. It hurts me more than it hurts you, trust me. Oh boy. Nice fire magic, friend. Has no match for my multiple punches to the face, though. Whoa, ring around the rosy. Getting you down. Don't move, 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 don't move. Stop. There we go. Okay, that was pretty pathetic of me. Alright, dodge. Toho, Toho powers activate. Woo! Aha! Two criticals. 159. Ah, this one. Ow. Ow, fucking fire magic. All right, uh, eat the noodles. The better dry. Mmm. Just crunch them like a candy bar. Woof. Whoa. I almost didn't make it out of there. Whoa, what the hell? Stop moving. I don't know why it canceled my last attack, but whatever. What the hell? Why is it canceling my attacks? What the fuck? Whatever. If you say so, boss. Oh boy. Ow. Alright, bicycle time. Best healing in the game. Don't move, move, move. Go, go. That attack used to be intimidating, but now it's not at all. 165. Come on, Asgore. You can't win. I have the high ground. And also a knife. Actually, I don't have a knife. That's a lie. I left the knife in the... in the box. In the room. I did take the locket, though. It's very nice. Don't move, move, move. Ah, almost made it. 231. After this, we'll heal. Oh, this one. Ah. Alright, heal. Heal, heal, heal. Eat the popsicle. Mmm, delicious. Ah, oh, that was entirely my fault. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Somehow I got hit, but whatever. Oh! That was a lot of damage. Oh. So that is how it is. It was a good fight. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. 
The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. You know where she is? Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. I refuse to fight anyone. I don't want to kill you, buddy. I'll glue this mercy button back together just for you. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Human... I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best as we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie, that sounds delicious. We could be like, like a family. I'd, I'd like that. Oh boy. Fuck! You idiot! Oh, you little shit. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. And then it closed. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, monsters and humans. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. Oh boy! Flowey tail. Flowey, my world. Uh. Hello? The end. File erased. That was my save, you shit! Whoa. Howdy! It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. What up, fuck boy? I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. <laughs> Not for long, bitch. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mm, I can feel them wriggling. Ugh. Oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. I'll arm wrestle you for it. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend, Flowey, has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? 
Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Yeah, I am. One that'll beat your ass, boy. Oh, shit. Hi. What? What the fuck? Oh boy. Uh, bullet helm mode activate. Woo. Well, I'm somehow. Fight. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> Uh, holy fuck! I am getting my shit kicked in. I died. Game over. This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. Ah, don't laugh at me like that, you shit. Fine, fuck you. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? No, not really. Ha <laughs> ha! I survived. Lose soul or cyan soul warning. Have at thee. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, that was entirely my fault. Act, 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 act. Get to it. Called for help. Help. Please. Ow. Oh, thank God. Huh. Oh. At least we got some friends. Oh, boy. What the fuck? Okay, that's gross. It's gross and you know it. What the fuck? That's the entire- this entire thing is just- Uh, what the fuck is happening? Alright. Alright, avoid the bombs. Huh. That went well. So don't look at me like that, alright? Ugh. This is the glove, I guess. First one was the toy knife. Oh boy! Where the fuck's the axe button? There it is. Called for help. Please? Help! Ah, oh, thank you so much. I need more healing than this, please. That's not enough, but okay. File two saved. What? I didn't do that. Ah! Oh, uh. Okay, that's cheating, you know. Stop! Stop! Okay. Stop it! Ow! Ah! Oh, I uh. I did better than expected, Cactus Man. Ah! Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Get to the act. Come here. Call for help. Help, please. Oh, thank you so much. I have to say, your ballerina shoes and tutu really helped me. You're a good, good, good equipment. Oh boy, we're under attack. Ah! Did I hit him? Nope. You know what? It's fine. Ow. What the fuck? Are you finger gunning at me? How am I not dead? Doesn't matter. We have the purple heart now. I'm okay with this. Oh! Murder, trapped, doom. This is the notebook. Did I find the notebook? I don't remember. These are great words. Act. Indeed, they're all really good words. Success. Happiness. You know what? I like these words better. What up, buddy? I've almost taken all your souls, nerd! 
I thought you were strong and dangerous, huh? Ha! You ain't shit. You ain't shit and you know it, huh? One death? Pathetic. Oh! Frying pan. Your apron was also very good. I liked it. Oh boy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Called for help. Thank you so much. Ow. Oh, hey, hey. Mmm. Delicious. Have at thee. Ow. Uh. Oh, boy. Attack. You might kill me this time. Maybe. Possible. Possible. Or not. How do I keep getting passed by the skin of my teeth? This is insane. Come on, buddy. That's a gun. Okay. Ow. Uh. Just avoid the bullets. Oh, wait, the axe button. Called for help. Boop, 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 boop. Give me the help. Give me the help guns. Help bullets. Okay. Not as much as I would have liked. Oh. Yes, give me that. Thank you all. Let's fucking go, buddy. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. And now your attacks are shit. And I still can't dodge them because I'm garbage too. You thought you were scary. Bitch, you thought. Come on, you can do more than this. Hit him again. Honestly, I expected more from the big bad. <laughs> oh boy. I like this song. I really do. Oh, here we go. Shit. Now you're putting up a fight. I thought you'd given up. I'm proud to see you still got some left in you. I didn't want this to go over so anticlimactically. Oh boy, here we go. Favorite attack. Hit him. Get the healing. Hit him again. Yeah. Yeah, you be sad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Smack him again. For good measure, smack him again. You're not sounding so good there, friend. Oh shit. I think bombs might be a little bit cheating, buddy. Not even a hard. No. No. This can't be happening. You. You. Oh. You idiot. Ow. I can't get out of here. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help! See what good it does you. Act. He called for help. But nobody came. Boy!
boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die. This ain't fair, fight me. Ha! What? How would you? Well, I'll just... Load failed. Get fucked. Uh, where are my powers? Ain't yours no more, bitch. The souls. What are they doing? No, no! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Destroyed. Not looking so hot there, buddy. But I will not kill you. Don't worry about it. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. It doesn't matter if you have. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. Killing you won't work either. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll beat your ass again. I'll kill you. No, you won't. I'll kill everyone. No, you won't. I'll kill everyone you love. Like hell, I'll beat your ass first. We'll do this all again, buddy. Huh? Not getting anything from me. I won't give you the satisfaction. Why? Because fuck you. Why are you being so nice to me? Because fuck you? That doesn't... I don't know how that works. I can't understand. Simple. I can't understand. I'll just give you a hug. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Later, buddy. Well, now that that's over with, let's go home, shall we? Ah, oh, Ringle Dingle. Yo, what up? Hey, yeah. Hi. Is anyone there? Hey, it's me. Well, just call in to say... You made a snowman really happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so ha I'm so glad that he's happy. Guess I should say something else, too. I'd hope so. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. Human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. Do I have them or do they just go into the ether? But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey. If we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Buddy. Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus. I'm now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. 
Except instead of fighting, we just water flowers. The Royal Gardeners. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. I would expect nothing less, but I think Alphys likes having her around. For obvious reasons. Uh oh! Hey, what are you up to, punk? Nothing much. Nah! Please don't noogie the phone! Hey, who's in charge here? Me? Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded, so it's just Papyrus. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is! Come here. Please don't nuggie the skeleton! Anyways, now I'm working as Alphys' lab assistant. Alfie's lab assistant. We're going to find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's new school. Did you know I can bench press seven children? That's pretty impressive. Awesome, right? Uh, hey. I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he... Don't worry about it. Ah, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne. Snap out of it. I didn't even kill him. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how off this is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. That's gotta be pretty fucking reclusive. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Uh, hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes, we'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is, even the queen. Aw, oh, good mom. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... Uh, yeah, she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't give the phone back for at least a few hours. Give her the phone. We have the mercy to spare you from her. No, I want it. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, wait to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now. See ya, punk. Bye. Click. Miss you guys. Oh, hey, what up? Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. It hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go and see Dr. Alphys? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows, maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon. Will do.